What's up guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I will tell you what to do when on semen retention. I will tell you three habits that you should do on semen retention to help yourself so that you don't relapse. I will quickly say the habits, I will quickly say the benefits you will get, and after that I will tell you the three important habits to keep when doing semen retention. Mental benefits, more confidence and self-control, less anxiety and depression, increased motivation, better memory and better concentration on your work. The physical benefits of this is thicker hair, a deeper voice and improved sperm quality. Those are the most common experienced benefits that people got from this. You will be happier than the persons that fab every day and that's just common sense because if you retain your seed then you have so much built-in energy inside and that's why you have more energy to do things and you will be much productive than the other people that fab every day. So the three important habits I will tell you right now. Number one, transform your sexual urges into productive habits. Let me tell you something. Habits like reading, working out, working on your side hustle one hour a day, those things if you do that and you look back a year later on how much progress you have made, then you will be so happy to see that progress. Because you've done something that 90% of the people can't even do. And I really know how hard it is when you have an urge. It feels like it's taking control. You can't think of something else. It's just all in your mind. It's clouded. But if you transform that energy every single time you get an urge into productive habits, then you will have so much growth in a year. And it's unbelievable, man. You should do that. That's the first habit. The second benefit I will tell you right now is tell yourself that porn and fapping don't exist this one is a very good one because you will trick your brain into thinking that they actually don't exist that it's just not a part of the world that no one knows about it that you don't know about it it's just a mental trick to use i did it with myself and it worked a lot that's how i overcame this stupid addiction i'm finally done with this addiction because i always tell myself that it doesn't exist and yeah, if you see a threat online, you see some weird pic or a bikini pic, yes, okay, you will think about it again. But then you have to tell yourself that it doesn't exist and that it's just a picture and transform that energy into productive habits. Because believe me, when you get an urge, that means that you have so much built, built in energy inside. You have to find a way to release that energy. And that's common sense, bro. Number three, the third habit that I'm gonna tell you is never fantasize about porn or fapping because if you do that to yourself you will just dig a hole and lay in it because this will make your fight really hard you're just making it difficult for yourself to fight this addiction and get done with this addiction every time you think about those fantasizing porn stuff in your head you're actually releasing a lot of dopamine because it's still porn but it's in your brain and you really have to get rid of that bro what i used to do when i was fantasizing i used to make myself very uncomfortable and i still do it today if i get an urge i instantly go downstairs throw some ice cold water into my face or drink some ice cold water and if it didn't help then i would get my shoes on lace them and i would go outside and run to for two kilometers and when i came back from that i felt so productive i felt so happy that i fight the urge and it made my whole day better and i used my energy well so those three habits are very key to you if you struggle with nofap slash semen retention those three habits are gonna help you come far with this addiction you will beat this addiction man and if you have friends that talk a lot about those stuff when they do that please remove yourself from that situation man because it's gonna make your addiction worse it's gonna give you cravings to watch it again instantly just leave that situation even if it's online chat just close your phone because they're just gonna drag you into that addiction again and you don't want it to happen i hope you have a lot of value in this video and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video peace